is going well, there's, there's a sound, you know, take it or leave it. But, you know, ultimately it becomes much more interesting when you're thinking, well, how can I fuse those two possibilities together, you know, the strange, the weird, the unusual, the uncontrollable, with the structured, uh, you know, the, the kind of accessible, the digestible. You know, how can those things coexist at the same time to make something that feels whole, I suppose? So I'm always really interested and intrigued by the actual videos that yeah. you actually select to play along with the music and also very much with the balance of how it sits with the music. Yeah. Um, in some ways it sits with that same level of difficulty, in other ways it seems to sit seamlessly, which I think is really engaging and quite, quite attractive. So how do you actually select? Um, I mean probably the, the, the visual process of visual things that I do, like the album covers and the videos, is probably almost identical to the music things. I mean in a sense making the music is hugely aesthetic, so although it's sound, you know, I was thinking a bit about this the other day, you know, I actually think kind of this is more like painting, really, musically, because you've got substance, which is pain, but in this case sound, and I'm sort of basically squashing it around the canvas to make something that makes some sort of sense. I think visually I'm doing sort of the same thing. I'm just, I'm selecting things that, that have an aesthetic interest for me, you know, they, I immediately think, they, they, they in themselves, before they've had music applied to them, Really interesting. So this piece, um, you know, it's it's filmed on a particular film stock. So it's got a very particular colour about it. It's framed in a particular way, you know. And just as a as a film, I was really interested in it visually, not really the content, but more the kind of the aesthetic of it. And then when I started to just cutting it quite simply, you know, to the the album, the slow bird album, I suppose. The two things coming together made a third thing, which, which I thought was a bit like a dance, you know, at first like a dance thing. So, um, but I think, I, don't, I mean, I try not to overthink it. I mean, ultimately, I think I'm trying to allow my subconscious to run a lot of the show. Really. If I think about it too much, it's all about trying to get the intention. So, I don't, what I don't want to do is make things that I intend to do, because then I'm just going to go down the same pathway as I did. So if I kind of think, oh, I made this great track, for instance, I'm going to go down the same path and try and make that great track again, but a little bit different. All I do really is just make something rubbish, really, because you're just treading the same territory. Whereas if you just kind of allow yourself to, um, you know, drift, you know, and see where that leads you. Like, I, I really, I've always been really interested since I did the flaneur, you know, the, the person who walks through the city, and in a sense, that idea you're just walking through creative making and things are just appearing and in a sense you are making decisions about what you put in and what you take out but you don't need to think too much about that because part of your subconscious is looking after that for you you know as long as you can hear what your subconscious is saying to you you know about those decisions it works i mean the difficulty comes when other pressures or other stresses start to kind of drown that out really you know when when you become super conscious of the audience and, and will they be happy, you know, that really starts to kind of kill it. Whereas if you start to just feel that you found something and it works, you, you, you're in a healthy place. Really. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a great shot. Have I done it? Have I done it? I can one more question. Oh, okay. <laughs> to look at you? Just because I need a close-up. Have we estimated his general practice? I've kind of switched off it. Have we estimated the general, your general practice, what you do? I think at the beginning you talked about it. I said I was a musician, you asked me what I was doing. Covered everything. We've, that was good, that little tap. <laughs> We've covered everything. Um, Is there anything you want to add? So what's, so what's next for Sad Man? So we've had, we've had nine incredible nine albums in, yeah. in a very short period of time. Um, what's next? Um, I'm not sure because I think I've made too many albums. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
I think um, I, if I was to do to do it again, I wouldn't do as many much. I mean, it, it, it's not it's not it wasn't deliberate. I didn't deliberately go. I'm going to make ten albums. I think I just tried to get as much out as soon as it appeared. You know, I just tried to kind of get it out. Really. I think the difficulty is now that I've reached the point where I've done that. You know, I've done that many albums in that short space of time, and that that sort of format or way of working has worked quite well. But I don't think you can keep doing that because then you sort of the game you're into repeating yourself. So I sort of feel like I would like to take longer doing things. But that doesn't tend to work that well for me. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I. I think. I think the thing about the interesting thing about the film, this film particularly, is that the the fact that I've sort of they're in it. I suppose there is this other thing now. So there is this filmic dance thing going on. And I think I'd like to do more work that probably involved, you know, those sort of type of collaborations or those sort of elements. Because I think what's interesting about it is you're not so limited perhaps to this idea that you make an album and you put an album out, people may buy it, they may not, whatever, or you go and play gigs or something like that, which becomes which, which is fine, but the, you know, essentially what you're doing there is you're, you're appealing to an audience who's got interest in that music and you're trying to, you know, you're, you're sort of giving them kind of what they would like. You know, what I think is really interesting is when you're giving a load of people who didn't have any interest in that stuff or, or never come across it before or um, who just walk down the street and suddenly something's happening in front of them and they get this amazing experience. I think that's that for me is a really much more interesting way to come across creative things. So I think by by looking at these other collaborative methods or platforms, you know, with dance or film, you know, suddenly you're putting your music into these other contexts, which I think suddenly could be quite exciting because you're suddenly involving yourself in other worlds, not just the kind of small worlds of, say, you know, the electronic experimental music scene. But I don't, I mean, at the same time, I'm sure I'd like to do all of it, really.